This test video is a combination of two fire tests conducted at the Research Institute of Sweden, or RISE, for training of Mondelez International Health, Safety, and Environmental Group in Europe. The test consisted of burning a storage array, rack storage of class 3 commodities, cardboard boxes with cardboard separators, both with and without sprinklers. The storage array was approximately 9 feet high and the ceilings were approximately 12 feet high. The sprinklers were K8 or K115 in metric unit sprinklers. The upper left corner shows the sprinklered version of the test and the lower right corner shows the unsprinklered version of the test. The purpose of the testing was to show the value of sprinklers in protecting storages against fire and mitigating the damage. Note that at about 20 seconds the fire is well established within the first tier of each of the arrays. It's worth noting that for a good fire department response would be expected to take uh, no less than five minutes and a potentially ten minutes prior to being able to get to the facility. At 40 seconds, the fire has reached the ceiling in both of the arrays. Note the first sprinkler goes off at about 52 seconds, followed closely by the second sprinkler in the sprinkler array at 54 seconds. The water in the sprinkler array starts to push the fire back down the flue spaces. It does a good job controlling the spread of the fire. Note how the fire continues to develop in the unsprinkler array, involving more and more of the storage. If you look closely, you can see the second tier of the other rack start to smolder. And at about one minute and 36 seconds, ignition of the second rack. At this point it's considered a failure. Uh, as this fire continues to grow it will involve more and more racks throughout the entire facility. This was a large warehouse. Within five minutes it would be very difficult for our fire department to actually go inside. You see here that the test center has actually turned the sprinklers on to help control the fire prior to the firefighters coming in and putting out the rest of the fire. We'll cut to about 3 minutes and 30 seconds into the fire. At this point, you'll notice that the firefighters have been fighting the fire for about 20 to 30 seconds in the unsprinkler array. And in the sprinkler array, they have yet to actually get involved with putting out the fire. Which fire do you think the fire department would most easily control upon arrival? Lastly, a few pictures of the sprinkler array and the damage done to some of the pallet loads on the top tier. As you can see, the fire sprinklers were very effective. 